Hello, this is Rowdy Chemist Jr. bringing you another exciting video. And this time it's involving how to draw a chemical equation using this chem sketcher on Lab Archives. Let's talk a little bit about the equation uh, we're going to use. So the equation involves uh, the saccharinate ion that we're using in our chemistry labs to, to make a precipitate. And in this equation, I've used the metal halide nickel-3 chloride, of course, sodium saccharinate, which is a dihydrate. And then the product we get is a nickel saccharinate complex. Uh, for, for this lab, we assume that nickel likes a coordination number of six. So there's three saccharinates to balance the charge of the nickel ion, which is a 3 plus, and then we have three remaining waters coordinated to the nickel to give it its six coordination uh, bonds. In addition to that, to help balance the equation, we estimate that there will be three waters of hydration in the structure as well. And then we have our aqueous salt sodium chloride. So sodium saccharinate is shown in the bottom left-hand corner. right here. So this is sodium saccharinate. So we're going to draw this equation out in the chem sketcher. And in the chem sketcher, we're not going to include these two waters of hydration or these three waters of hydration. We're just going to draw the uh, nickel three chloride, sodium saccharinate, our complex, and sodium chloride. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here we're logged into Lab Archives. We have the Chemical Sketcher Editor open. So now we're going to draw that uh, chemical reaction involving uh, sodium saccharinate and uh, nickel-3 chloride. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to draw the nickel-3 chloride. Click on the text box here. We need to give it a charge. Let's see. So nickel is a plus three. So the way we do that is we click on this drop box. We select positive charge and we highlight the nickel ion, nickel ion here. And we click on it three times so we get a nickel three plus uh, charge. Next, we're going to add a plus sign in our equation by clicking on the text box, putting a plus sign. And then we have three chloride ions. So again, we can select chlorine and put that here. Now to give chlorine its negative charge, we click on this drop down here, we select negative, and we give it one charge. Now since there's three of these chlorides, let's go ahead and add a three uh, to it. So again, we need to get the negative charge again. We select negative charge. Oops, let's get rid of the, let's undo this. There we go. So we'll put a three right in front of it. So now we have three chlorides. Plus, now we're going to draw the saccharinate, the sodium saccharinate uh, complex. And remember, we're going to have two of those. So let's go ahead and put a two there. Again, you click on the A, you can put the two. And now we need to draw the saccharinate ion. So you want to first select the benzene ring, click on that, bring that, we'll put it right about here. That's the benzene ring. Uh, next we're going to need a the other ring and this is going to be the five-membered ring, looks like a house. And we're going to see how it has the 
two parentheses around one bond, that's what we want. So we want to see not just one circle, but you want to hover it to where there's two parentheses. And then you're going to click to add it. So again, if we look at it again, you want to put the five-membered ring or the house once you highlight a bond. So you'll see the two brown parentheses across the bond. You click. Now we have the house. So this is the basic structure of the saccharinate. Now we need the sulfur atom. So let's click on sulfur. Click on the drop down next to chlorine. We click sulfur. Sulfur goes here. We need some double bonds off the sulfur. So we click on double bonds. And we're going to change these CH2s to oxygen. So click up next to sulfur. Click oxygen. And now we have the sulfur. Next, we need a double bond off this carbon. Again, we're going to replace that CH2 with an oxygen. And lastly, we need a nitrogen right here at the apex. And we're going to give that nitrogen a negative charge. So this is a saccharinate. And then we're going to put a sodium ion right next to the saccharinate. So for sodium, when you click on the drop down, you don't see sodium. So you need to click on choose a symbol, select sodium, close, and there. But now we need to add a positive charge to the sodium. So you come here, click on the drop down, click positive, click it once. So these are our reactants. We have uh, the nickel ion, the three chloride, and the sodium saccharinate molecule. Next, we draw an arrow. By selecting the arrow here, click and drag. Now we need to draw our products. And so for the interest of space, I'm going to draw my products down here because I don't have enough room here to, uh, to draw it over here. And so the if we remember, the saccharinate nickel complex had one nickel ion and three saccharinates. So first I'm going to draw a nickel ion. So again, I go to more labels. I go to the periodic table. I select nickel and I'm going to put it here. And nickel has uh, three uh, coordination or excuse me, three saccharinate around it and three uh, water molecules. And since these are coordination bonds for the interests of this exercise, I'm just going to use mm -hmm. I'm just going to use the single bond, but bear in mind these are coordination bonds. It's not technically a single bond. But just to show, to illustrate the complex, I'm going to use uh, a single bond. So we have six things coming off the nickel. So I'm going to draw six coordination bonds. Oops, not that. Let's undo that. Let's undo that. What's the circle? There we go. So now, remember, three of these are going to be saccharinate. Three of them are going to be uh, waters. Now, I may say, well, how do I know where to put the three saccharinate? Uh, just for this illustration and for the scope of the lab, you can put them here, here, and here. Or you can put it here, here, and here. It doesn't matter as long as there's three saccharinates. Of course, you would need the actual crystal structure to see where the actual three saccharinates are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this lasso. Well, let me undo that. I don't want that first. Uh, I want to click on the lasso here, and I want to lasso this saccharinate species. And I want to, oh, can't do that. There should be a way to. And I want to copy. Uh, this. Let's see how we can do that. So in, in order to save time, as I said, I want to copy this. 
So what I want to do is I want to select the Marquette tool, highlight what I want to copy. I want to copy just a saccharinate, but we'll go ahead and copy it all. We click on this tool, copy, and paste. So now we have our saccharinate ion here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the sodium ion because we don't need that. And I'm going to see if I can rotate it just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, rotate it just like that. And we want to uh, connect it to the nickel. So here I have this. Click drag. There's one. So I need to do this uh, two more times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste again. Let's see here. Get the lasso here. Click and drag it over here. Now remember, I need to remove the sodium. Oops, undo that. And then we're going to click and drag the bond. So let's see here. I know it's a little bit redundant, but I wanted to show you uh, the six coordination there. So now we have two. We just need one more. So again, I'm going to go here, paste, lasso. So I get the hand. The hand allows me to, to drag it. Let me lasso this because I want to be able to turn it. Again, we remove the sodium. Delete those two. And we need to turn it. So again, you hit the lasso. And when you see the arrow, this allows you to turn the structure. So we'll bring it right about there. Now, of course, you didn't have to draw all these six CH3s. I just drew them so that you could see the six coordination. We'll delete it. We'll add the... And yes, you could probably uh, use some three-dimensional uh, wedges here to make it look better. But just, this is for Jenkin 1, just to show some basic understanding of how the structure should look. Um, we just use the single bonds. Again, these are coordination bonds, not... Uh, physical bonds, not uh, covalent bonds, I should say. So now we need to add the water. So again, we come here, select oxygen. If we just replace this, the C with an O. And now we can put OH2. There you go. So with the waters, we always want the waters uh the oxygen be coordinated to the metal so that's why you put the o first so here we go o again and then i select the a and i'm going to type oh2 and then it automatically puts it as a subscript and we need one more and then i go to oxygen click on it click on the a Put OH2, and we have our nickel saccharinate uh, complex. And so typically we put this, oh, we don't need to, never mind, it's balanced. So we need to add the positive charge to nickel. So again, we select the positive charge, go to the nickel, one, two, three. So that's a nickel uh, three plus ion. Then we got to add the, uh, in this case, sodium chloride. So we put a plus sign. And we come here, select sodium. Again, it's a positive one charge. Put a plus one. And we had a total of, I believe it was six. 
sodium, so we'll put a six there. And then we'll add another plus sign and six chlorides. So let me put a six. And then we come here, select from our table chlorine. And we're going to put its negative sign. And so this is a very, uh, or I should say, this is a representation of the uh, saccharinate complex that's formed when we have nickel three chloride sodium saccharinate uh, react to produce a nickel three saccharinate complex. And of course, we have uh, sodium chloride. I think these shouldn't be sixes. Let me change them to threes. Yeah. And this should be a three, two. I caught myself in the air because there's needs to be three saccharides. There we go. Now it's balanced. Yeah. So I hope this uh, video was beneficial to you to help you understand how to draw the saccharinate uh, reaction using the chem sketcher found on Lab Archives. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like uh, down below. Until next time, Browdy Chemist Jr. signing off.